Why, you little beauty. We'll soon have the watts throbbing through you. Your filaments glowing red hot. <laughs> carrying the thoughts and words of mankind to the four corners of the world. Ah, uh, you can't beat a 4CX250B. <laughs> a triumph of technology. A work of art. Ah, uh, you can keep your Sistine chapels. Give me the inside of a wireless set any day. Ah, uh, there's a lot to be said for government surplus stores. RAF 1155. Straight out of a Lancaster, that was. Could have been one of the dam busters. <laughs> Bombs skimming across the water. German sentries tipping them over the crossbar. <laughs> Marvellous stuff. I bet they're wondering the world over where I've been the last few nights. A radio station like me, forced off the air for the sake of twelve and a half quid. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Dear, oh dear, it seems ages since I had a good old natter with Yoko Suji in Tokyo. <laughs> I wonder how his wife is. What was her name? Radiant Flower of the Divine Heavens. I wonder if her feet are still playing her up. <laughs> oh, it's a marvellous invention, this wireless. I don't know what I'd do without it. I'd go crackers. Best two grand's worth I've ever spent. <laughs> Opened up completely new horizons for me. Friends all over the world. None in this country. <laughs> but all over the world. What time is it now? 11 o'clock. Time I hit the airwaves. Tokyo, here I come. Crying out loud. I can't even get them on me portable. <laughs> Tune in to Japan and there they are. Oh, oh, that's better. Uh, this is a golf to a Victor Yankee Echo London transmitting on the short wave band on 14.25 megahertz. This is London calling Juliet Alpha 24 Delta Tokyo. Come in Tokyo. Hello? Hello? Yoki, how are you? No, how are you? No, 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 no. How are you? No, how are you? How are you? Like, this is a rundown. How getting are you? Oh, no, never mind. What's the weather like out there? No, no, no. What's the weather like? <laughs> no, no, no. Is it raining? Raining? <laughs> the water, wet, pitter patter, ugh, nasty. Yeah, yes, yes. Carry on, yeah. I'm listening. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, it is our raining not. <laughs> oh, good, good, very good. It is R not raining here also. <laughs> yes. Cool, this is hard work. <laughs> so, how are you getting on then? What are you getting up to? No, no, no. Getting up to. No, not when are you getting up. <laughs> getting up to. How are you been doing? <laughs> doing. You. How have you been... <sighs> What time is it over there? <laughs> time! O'clock! Big hand! Little hand! Whereabouts? I know it's not raining, you've told me that. <laughs> we'll start again. Here in London, 11 o'clock. O'clock 11. Yeah. What time... No, no. What time... What time in Tokyo... No, what... <sighs> This is London G2VYE Echo turning it in. Oh, it's marvellous to be able to communicate with people all over the world. People different from yourself. There's something new to say. Broadens your outlook. I don't suppose there's many people around here who know it is our not raining in Tokyo. I suppose I must lead what the Sunday supplements call a full life. <sighs> The world is my oyster. 
I can dip in and have a slurp of anywhere I fancy. <laughs> Ooh, these earphones and I'll make your ears hot. Oh, dear. Got two braised lamb chops under there, they are. <laughs> oh, I think I'll switch over to the loudspeaker. Now, who shall I have a go at next? Oh, Moscow. I haven't spoken to him for six months. London calling Uniform Alpha 32 Hotel Bravo X-Ray Moscow. London calling Moscow. Come in, Moscow. This is Moscow. Boris Ilyichyanov speaking. Hello there. How are you? It's a great pleasure to be speaking with you again. Why did he always speak with American accents? <laughs> are you ready? Yes, I am ready. All right. King's Pawn to Queen Bishop Three. Check. Oh, yes, yes. Good move, Tovarich. This needs thinking about. All right. Give us a call next week, then. <laughs> Nine Mike Two, Delta Papa Charlie Malaya calling London. Oh, this is London receiving you. Come in, Malaya. Good evening. How are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Nice to hear from you again. Are you ready? Oh, yes, yeah. Your pound and upper pound. <laughs> I'll see ya. Full house, kings and sevens. Oh, what a shame. Three aces. <laughs> What's the weather like over there? The weather? Oh, it's not too bad, actually, yes. Uh, oh, incidentally, it's not raining in Tokyo, either. Oh, thank God for that. That'll save me calling him. <laughs> anything I can do for you at all? Uh, yes, there's something I miss very much. You can't get it out here at all. Oh, anything, anything you like. You just name it. A tray of bread pudding. <laughs> tray of bread pudding? I can't send that through the post. We'll put it in the diplomatic bag. Oh, right. Uh, do you want sugar on it? Yes, please. All right, OK, Your Excellency. Signing off. Cheers for now. <laughs> London calling Golf Zero Zulu Papa Oscar Wolverhampton. <laughs> I'm in Wolverhampton. I'm Wolverhampton. I'm receiving you. <laughs> Hello, Harry. All right? All right, Paul. How are you doing, mate? Oh, fine, yeah. Uh, nip round to your mother's and ask her to make me a bread pudding, would you? All right, will do. Hey, you ready for the game, then? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up the ladder to square 84. 84, ah. Oh. Right. Another go. Yeah, off you go, then. Three. One, two, three, oh, down the snake to square 24. Uh, hard luck, mate. <laughs> Think about my go tomorrow. All right. <laughs> How's the weather up there? Ah, uh, it's sheeting down, mate. Oh, pity. It's not raining in Tokyo. <laughs> I've just had a speak with him. Oh, good luck to you. He can't even understand me. I don't know how he gets on with you. <laughs> All right, then, good night, Harry. Good night, Paul. Oh, uh, tell your mother, sugar on the bread pudding. Righty-o. Night-night, mate. Right, good night. This is Golf to Victor Yankee Echo London calling all stations. London is closing down for five minutes while he has a quick cough and a drag. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Oh, it's tiring, all this radio lark. Dries your mouth out, all this rabbiting. I think a quick glass of cold milk before we go back on the air. Hello. The blue tits have been at the gold top again. <laughs> Look at it, pecked to ribbons. They must have beaks like pneumatic drills, some of them. <laughs> I will not have great feathered heads stuck in my milk bottles. You know business to be in towns. Why don't you go back to the country where you belong? <laughs> oh, wait till they perch on me aerial. I'll shove a few hundred volts through it. <laughs> that should make me jump about a bit. Well, I'm not drinking that. Don't want to get mad tit disease. <laughs> Exciting would happen. Nice little disaster, that'd suit me. Boatloads of sailors be calmed on the China seas. Stricken down with yellow jack. Inert bodies crumpled over half-eaten dinners. Limp legs hanging out of bunk beds. Cabin doors swinging on their hinges. Every human being aboard in a deep coma, save for the radio operator. Croaking out his message of help to me. The only man who can save them. Uh, instead of all that, all I get is can you send a tray of bread pudding to Guadalupe? <laughs> oh, 
Oh well, back to work. Still being served in the Three Kings Agamemnon Road at 11.30. Investigate, please. Three Kings, 11.30. That's not bad. <laughs> not that. You shouldn't be here, Helen. What if he finds us here together? I couldn't stay away, Clive. I no longer care what he thinks. Oh, Helen. Oh, Clive. Oh, Helen. <laughs> oh, ghouls. <laughs> Flying Dr. Cool and Wall and Burla Base. <laughs> I'm on my way, Mrs. Fraser. Wrap him up and don't move him. Oh, Flying Doctor, that's good. I'll give him a call one night about my backache. <laughs> be quicker than getting an appointment over here. <laughs> <laughs> Mayday. 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 Mayday? What's he talking about? <laughs> that was months ago. <laughs> It's nearly August. Mayday. 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 Mayday? That's a, that's a code word, isn't it, for typhoons? No, no, that's girls' names. Al Alice, Elsie, Frida. Mayday. Mayday. Emergency distress call. Help me. Yellow Jack. <laughs> Hello, Mayday. Can you hear me? This is London. Come in, Mayday. Mayday. God, you've answered. I've been calling for over six hours. I thought I'd never reach anybody. Who are you, and what is your position? Listen carefully. I cannot keep on the air much longer. My batteries are almost finished. My radio is damaged, and I can only transmit on this one wavelength. Oh, me bread pudding days are over. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Oh, sorry, carry on, carry on. <laughs> I am awaiting your instructions. Listen carefully. Yeah. I am the motor yacht Billy Doo out of Sierra Leone. I'm holed beneath the waterline and I'm shipping water fast. I've run out of fuel and I'm drifting in the Atlantic Ocean 300 miles off the African coast. I can only keep afloat for another two or three hours. It is imperative you radio for help. Roger, will do. What is your exact position? My position is... Hang on, I haven't got a pencil. <laughs> Hold on, don't sit yet. I've got one here somewhere. Here we are. Here we are. Hey, yeah. Go ahead. My position is longitude... Hang on, I've broken the point. <laughs> You can never find things when you're looking for them, can you? <laughs> How's the weather out there? The weather? It's not raining in Tokyo. <laughs> Will you please hurry up? My battery is going fast. Hi. My position is longitude. If he should find us here, Helen, what should we tell him? Tell him the truth, Clive. We have nothing to be ashamed of. We love each other. Oh, for crying out loud. Hello, it's... Mayday, are you there? Come in, Mayday. How it is weather in San Francisco? <laughs> it is our uh, raining not in Tokyo. Get off the air, you oriental fool. Please keep this wavelength clear. This is an emergency. I've got a man with a great hole in his boat. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Come in, mayday. This is Delhi. <laughs> What appears to be your troubles? I'm not the Mayday. I've got a Mayday waiting for me to help him. Ah, oh, you lucky blood. I haven't had one Mayday since I started this bloody thing. Where is he? You keep out of this. He's mine. Anyway, I've lost him. He's gone. Come in, Mayday. Mayday, where are you? Come in, Mayday. Oh, Helen. Oh, Clive. Oh, get off. Give her one and have done with it. Hello, Mayday. Mayday. Oh, where's he gone? Why doesn't he chuck his anchor overboard? How can you expect me to find him if he keeps drifting about? Two minutes west. Did you get that? <laughs> get what? My position. I just gave it to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I've lost you. Would you mind repeating it, please? Oh, that man's a fool. Is there anyone else there? This is an emergency. Now, listen, Squire. Don't you take that attitude with me. I'm doing my best. It's not my fault you've got a great big hole in your boat. You should learn to steer it properly, shouldn't you? <laughs> Now, give me your position again, and don't let's have so much of it. I'm sorry. Right. Here is my position. Yeah. Hang on, there's someone at the door. <laughs> I don't care who's at the door. Take my position down. This is a matter of life and death. No, it's no good. I can't hear you. Hang on a minute. Don't go away. <laughs> yes. Would you stop playing with that radio thing of yours? I'm trying to get to sleep. Making all that noise. What noise? 
talking to all those silly people all night. They are not silly people. Bread puddings and how's the weather? I've heard you. This is not a bread pudding call, madam. This is an emergency. I've got a man with a hole in his boat. Serves him right, his own fault. Should be out in a boat at this time of night. <laughs> it is not this time of night where he is, it's yesterday afternoon. Mayday. 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 Now, I listen to the poor devil. Now, push off. If you don't stop, I'll call the police. Good. Go and get him then. I will. Good. <laughs> Mayday. Mayday. I'm coming, I'm coming. Would you mind keeping your voice down? The neighbours are complaining. <laughs> I right, go ahead, I'm listening. Are you there? I I'm, can't hear you. I'm whispering. I can't hear you. Oh, the man's an imbecile. It's gone again. I'm not an imbecile. I'm whispering. <laughs> That's better. I can just about hear you now. What do you mean you can just about hear me? I'm yelling at a Tommy voice. Ah, shut up. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Not you, uh. Here is my position. Hang on. Oh, well, I've lost my pencil again. Hang on. Right, hang on. Look, don't bother. I'll throw a bottle over the side with a note in it. <laughs> I've never hit a lady before, but I think under these circumstances... Oh, I want a word with you. Here, watch it. I don't I've been dragged out of my bed once in my kit when I can't put up with this noise. I'm not making that much noise. No, but she is. <laughs> she can't sleep, and if she can't sleep, I can't sleep because she keeps waking me up and asking me if I can hear a noise. Now, I've got to be on my crane at 8 o'clock in the morning, wide awake and alert. You see, they don't like it if you start dropping two-ton girders all over the place. Well, that's very reasonable. Don't stand there arguing with him, Albert. Hit him! <laughs> that's all these skinheads understand. Skinhead? <laughs> you will be if you don't switch that bloody thing off. I can't switch it off. Yeah? Well, I can. No. Mayday. Mayday. Hey, look, Mayday. you can't do that. You know what you're doing. I'm his only chance. No! Oh, well, you've done it now, haven't you? You've just condemned a man to a watery grave. Well done. Yeah. Come on, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Murderers! Oh, ignorance has triumphed again. Oh, God. So it shoots right up your arm. <laughs> Find him again. He can't have much time left. He's probably up to his gunnels by now. Whoever they are. <laughs> Hello, Mayday. Are you receiving me? This is London. Come in, Mayday. Are you receiving me? Hello? Is that you? This is Mayday. Oh, thank heavens you're still alive. Now listen, this might be my last chance of speaking to you. Yeah. Here is my position. Right. Longitude, 10 degrees, 32 minutes west. Yep. Latitude... <whistles> oh, no! <laughs> No. Why not? I had to go and put a pound in the meter. You're doing this on purpose. You want me to drown. You're mad. Now, control yourself. Calm down. How do you expect me to help you if you panic? Save your strength. You might be days out there yet. <laughs> now, clearly and concisely, give me your position. Right. Right. Yes, go. Longitude 10 degrees, 32 minutes west. Latitude 5 degrees, 22 minutes south. Will you repeat that? Latitude 10 degrees. No, no, longitude 10 degrees. Oh, longitude 10 degrees, 22 minutes west. No, no, 32 minutes west. No, you're wrong there, Squire. <laughs> Look, I know where I am. I've got the compass in front of me. You said 22 minutes west. No, no, that was the latitude. 5 degrees, 22 minutes south. No, 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 no. 32 minutes south. I've got it down on me pad. Look. <laughs> 32 minutes south. I didn't say that. You did. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I'll tell a lie. No, 22 minutes south. Yeah, you're right, yes. I can't read me, I'm writing. <laughs> it's a game, isn't it? Look, let's start again. Right, got it. Longitude 10 degrees, 32 minutes west. Longitude 10 degrees, 32 minutes west. Correct. Right. Oh, we'll soon have you out of this in no time at all. Carry on. Latitude yeah. 5 degrees. Yeah.
I wonder if her longitude's any good without her latitude. <laughs> <laughs> Half past seven. What's happened to them? It can't take them three hours to get a new power pack. Mr. Merton. Have you got the power pack? Yes, here it is, sir. Right, great, thank you. They've been onto the Coast Guard in Sierra Leone. All ships in the area have been alerted. The inspector said all we need from you is the exact location and he'll do the rest. And it's got nothing to do with him. He's a glory seeker, isn't he? I'm the one who's been up all night. I picked the message up. He's just a middleman. Yes, well, uh, let's get the location, shall we? We've all played our part. What do you mean, we've all played our part? <laughs> all you've done is bring a power pack back here. Yeah, all right, get on with it. Uh, <laughs> hello, Mayday. London calling Mayday. How are you receiving me? Come in, Mayday. Hello, Mayday. It's gone. And we were so close. So, have you seen this stock press? What's that? <coughs> Dramatic sea rescue. At 4.30 this morning, an Englishman was rescued from his sinking yacht off the coast of West Africa. The man's radio distress signals have been picked up by a Japanese amateur radio. <laughs> oh, no, not in his are not raining here also. <laughs> Let's get this straight. You picked this message up at half past 11 last night and you still don't know where he is. And this Japanese bloke picks it up at four o'clock this morning and within half an hour he's rescued. Uh, he probably hasn't got a crane driver downstairs threatening to duff him up every two minutes. <laughs> Come on, Warren. No point hanging around here. Oh, uh, by the way, you've got a licence for all this. Yes, I have. Uh, pity. <laughs> <laughs> what a cheek. Up all night, that's all the thanks I get. Oh, well. That's me Duke of Edinburgh and meddle up the spout. It's Wolverhampton calling Gold 2, Victor Yankee Echo, London. You there, Paul, mate? Oh, hello, Harry. All right, Paul. Hey, you heard about that Japanese chappy in the paper, then? Yes, I did, yeah. Yeah, good bit of prestige for us operators, isn't it? Yes. Ah, makes you feel bosting, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's sort of like being in a brotherhood, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> By the way, Paul, me mum just brought the bread pudding round just now. All right, sir. Uh... Send it to Guala Lumpa, will you? In a diplomatic bag? Yeah. I'll let him know it's on its way. London calling Malaya. London calling Malaya. Are you receiving me, Malaya? Mayday. 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 This is the cruise ship Princess Louise. We are sinking in the Indian oh. Ocean. Come in, please. This is urgent. London mayday. receiving you. Uh, hearing you, Mayday. Go ahead, please. Oh, hello, London. Thank heavens you're there. I will give you my exact position. Longitude... Oh, just a minute. I, uh, I wouldn't bother if I were you. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. But I'm sinking. I've got 800 passengers on board. Uh, I'll be a lot quicker in the long run, I assure you. <laughs> yeah, there's a Japanese bloke out there. He's very good at it. Try Juliet Alpha 24 Delta Tokyo. And if there's anyone else listening, this is Golf 2 Victor Yankee Echo London signing off and offering the lot for 400 quid or a D-Reg Ford Escort. <laughs> Thank you and good night.